Hey, we've been doing some bank fishing this spring and it's uh, it's probably our favorite time to actually walk the banks um, and, and fish without a boat. Um, a lot of guys ask us, you know, how, how, do I, how can I be more effective bank fishing? The biggest tip I'd give you is be mobile. Um, don't sit in one spot for too long. Move along, watch the shallows, look for fish kind of cruising, look for beds, um, look for isolated pieces of cover. Um, keep your tackle selection you know, pretty minimal. In, in the spring, when the water temperatures get up around 60 degrees and warmer, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically go with soft plastics. I'm either gonna wacky rig one weightless um, that I can pitch around and kind of have a slow fall. Um, pitch around where I think bass are kind of roaming the shallow and they're guarding their fry in the shallows. Um, then if the cover's a little thicker, um, some of these lakes we've been fishing. Um, there's lots of standing timber, brush piles, uh, big rocks, vegetation. There's all kinds of things um, for the bass to get up in. Um, then I'm gonna go more with a Texas rig, a heavy pound test, and a, and a small, like a bug bait. Uh, we've been throwing the, you know, anything from a, a Zoom Z hog, uh, or Action Innovations Beaver. Uh, been throwing the new VNM J bug. Um, even a Senko on a, on a small little bullet weight can be really good. So um, that's some of the tips I'd give you for walking the banks. Um, just, just keep moving, look for those pieces of cover. I tell guys, you know, get a good pair of sunglasses, look peripherally across the lake. Um, don't try to stare down into the water, but if you kind of look peripherally, you'll start to see bright spots, dark spots different objects just looking out across the water and that can be the key to catching some of the biggest bass in the lake. Another key to fishing on banks, um, fishing small lakes, is to play the play the light. Um, when the sun starts setting, it's a good time to go. Early in the morning um, can be a really good time to go. Um, some, you'll, basically you'll see shade lines along the lake. Um, you can try a variety of baits, but I like top waters, spinner baits, um, swim baits, things like that. That's good when you're searching for fish. You know, don't always go in the bright, sunniest part of the day and not catch any fish and think, well, this lake doesn't have any fish. Um, a lot of times it's, it's because they only feed in certain light conditions. Um, on small bodies of water, especially like in the summer, that they may only feed at night, very first thing in the morning, and then when the lake gets really hot, because these small lakes will get a lot hotter than a big reservoir will, especially if it has current. So focus on that. Um, try early in the mornings, late in the evenings, and move around, um, sampling different baits. You know, I might throw a swim bait for a little while, and then a top water, and then drag something along the bottom even. And as it gets dark, I'll, I'll continue to fish you know, spinner baits, worms, jigs, things like that, things on the bottom real slow and methodically. A lot of times night fishing on these small lakes can be a, a real key factor. I love to get back on small lakes. I do a lot of scouting, um, looking for lakes in my area that maybe haven't got too much fishing pressure. Um, you know, looking for lakes off the beaten path. Um, golf course lakes can be a great place. Um, the biggest thing I tell you is you, you need to get permission um, if you're gonna fish a lake. If it's not a public lake, make sure you have permission of the person that owns the lake. Uh, you know, if it's a golf course, most of the time they're not gonna let you fish on it, but sometimes in the evenings they might let you go on there for a couple hours, but it never hurts to ask. So, um, yeah, walk the banks. You know, I, I carry a couple of rods, um, usually a bait caster and a spinning rod. The spinning rod I'll have usually like a weightless Senko on it. On the bait caster I have something I can flip around, isolated pieces of cover and grass and stuff. Uh, you know, I, I, I typically, if the water is 60 degrees or above, I'm going to go with soft plastics. I just think you can be, you can cover the water column, you can fish, you know, like I say, fish it weightless, slow fall, um, pitch it around, you know, targets. Um, cast down into open water, down flat banks where you think. And then when you get in the more thick, dense cover, you know, vegetation, big laydowns, trees, standing timber, that kind of stuff, uh, Texas rig, you know, bug type plastic can be really good.
there, look at us go. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one too. <laughs> it from small lake fishing hope you enjoyed some of the footage it was a lot of fun getting back to my roots walking the banks here fishing some small lakes and golf course ponds and things of that nature but uh just get you some small craws senkos um you know i fish if it's open water i fish 10 12 pound line you don't need real heavy line if you've got cover or you feel like you've got really big fish then yeah i go up to you know 14 to 20 pound line depending on how big the fish are and how heavy the cover is so um, but i like keeping it simple i just take a couple rods like a plastic on one maybe if the fish are active it's low light conditions i might have a top water also but most of the time it's just slow fishing dragging around until you get a bite you know being real observant see the fish and and you know trying to stay ahead of them if you start seeing fish along the banks then you want to be casting way up ahead of you that's how I caught a lot of my fish when I come here is I'm observant, I see fish move or I see them kind of swim out off the bank and then I, you know, I kind of put that in my memory bank and I'll come back later on a different time and know that fish has kind of been cruising up and down that one bank and I'll come back and hit it later. So anyways, hope that helps you and uh, get out there and have some fun on these small lakes. <laughs>